Hey guys, Christopher Marlowe here. I'm coming to you today with a sound pack. And to use these sounds, all you need are the free Air Windows plugin suite. It's actually a crap load of plugins, but anyway, free <laughs> and cross platform. And also the Surge synth, which is also free and cross platform. So that's cool. And, well, you don't actually need Reaper for half of the download, the other half you do. But before I talk your ears off with why I wanted to do this and how to use these, um, I want to show you a brief sound demo of these track templates that I've included for Reaper users. Well, each of these track templates has one of the Surge patches, followed by some Air Windows plugins. The first go around of the sound will just be the surge sound, surge synth the patch, dry, and then the it'll repeat with the Air Windows plugins, so you can hear how they compare. Sometimes it's sort of subtle, sometimes not so much. But anyway, uh, here we go with the demo.
So that should have given you a, at least, slight or vague notion of what these sounds are. It's not great music, but it's just meant to show you the patches. And the reason I want, the, or well, first, the useful information, <laughs> how to install these. So for the Surge presets, go to the folder in your download, which is the Surge uh, presets. And to open the, the folder where you want to place these, files, you want to go to you open up your search and go to menu, go to, to data folders, and then uh, I, I like to put mine in the user data folder, so I have that open, and there's my folder full of the .fxb, .fxp files. You can name this whatever you want, and you can actually rename these here as well. And then you go back to Surge and click on this here, you get your menu, and you go refer refresh patch list, then this should show up. So these are all the presets that come with the download. Now for the track templates, of course this is for Reaper users only. You want to go to the Reaper options menu show reaper resource path in explorer finder and there we go so these are all of my folders in the reaper resources track templates is what we want double click on that and here we are these are just folders with track templates in them here's the track templates for this pack and i actually elected to put an exclamation point at the start because that bumps it up to the top but you can you can also use you know asterisk like I have here uh, and the reason I wanted to do track templates is because you can customize everything so that it's automatically ready to go when you open up the template if you want to open up all of these like this you can right click on this you know this area in Reaper, and go insert track from template. There's our folder, and go to all tracks, all, all track templates in one. That will load up these guys inside this folder track. <clears throat> and then the same thing goes for the individual track templates. Right click, insert track from template, cinematic track templates, and all these individual ones will load these ones couple of other custom things that I added. I like to have the record arm set to auto record when you select the track. And this to me just keeps stuff like easier to work with because I don't have multiple ones of these accidentally being record arm down here below where I, I'm looking and then when I if I go to record something then you know it'll record on two different tracks without my my wanting it to. And it just keeps it neater. I feel easier, easier to to deal with. Um, the the reason I oh well, other than that, I've colored the base patches purple and the pad the pad sounds green because that's how I color them. I would encourage you to recolor yours, however you use those, however you color your tracks. Hmm. The other thing is for most of these, like for gain plugins, mostly, I have the relevant gain trim functionality uh, embedded in the mixer. So this is actually the, the, the Reaper mixer here. Um, the way to show these for your in your own Reaper is, uh, since my mixer is docked, I go down here Right click on the little mixer tab and make sure that show effects parameters when size permits is checked. And that will show these guys. So that's another thing that I really like doing. I, I, wanna sh I wanted to share that sort of functionality with you guys because it's, it's cool. And also um, you can rename these if you right click on the parameter 
and click alias. You can rename it whatever you want. So I did PowerSight2 input, and that corresponds to this plugin up here, PowerSight2 input gain, which I've renamed. It's just a purest gain uh, instance. It's sort of like the standard Air Windows gain plugin. Right to do that, you right click on the plugin in the mixer and rename FX instance. There you are. So anyway, uh, definitely just download these and play with them by themselves. I feel like Air Windows plugins can give you a very warm sound, very smooth, and I felt like that was a perfect complement to the proudly digital sound of. of Surge, I think is how they describe it on their site. But yeah, it's... It can breathe a lot of life into these synth sounds and make them sound more analog sometimes, or just kind of strange other times. And I realized that Air Windows is very intimidating for people starting out. And I know this because it was for me. You know, there's like, I think there's like over 200 now, 210 when I last looked as of this recording. But the thing is, I wanted to give you the option of just kind of bypassing certain things and seeing what they're doing. A lot of these are just kind of shooting from the hip and being like, well, maybe this would sound interesting with this. Um, but, you know, I, and I almost, I was going to go over the specifics of some of these plugins, but I want to keep the video short. So maybe I will leave that up to you in the comments if you want me to talk about certain plugins or not. Uh, but just briefly, a few of my favorites are uh, PowerSag 2 for getting this sort of, that sort of pumpy, breathy effect, you know. Um, might be a, a good candidate for a video. That's this guy. Let's see. Um, Oh, also, I like the VU meter in Reaper. This is one of the ones that is actually just a Reaper plugin. What you can do is if you have, if when if you instantiate this VU meter plugin and a few of the other JS plugins in Reaper, you right click and show show embedded UI in MCP or TCP, which is the one over here. But yeah, it shows you a little uh, miniaturized VU meter. You can put it multiple places in the thing as well. So that's fun. Capacitor 2 is great because it also has some analog non-linearities that you can dial in. Which sound fantastic. Um, yeah, but other than that, I'm using so many different Air Windows plugins in my day-to-day -day music making. Um, NC17 is great for making stuff loud. Um, we have uh, Baxendall for just a kind of a straightforward shelf filter that's very smooth and uh, gentle. Slu is great for getting that really grungy but also dark sound. Um, I'm using a lot of everyone knows reverbs like Pocket Verbs is my most recent favorite actually. But MV and nonlinear space are usually sitting on my mixes. Those are other reverbs. Um, Ever Matrix is a really crazy kind of tone shaping effect that can sound amazing. Um, anyway, we have Mojo and Dino for Dino makes stuff a little intense in the in the high mids, and Mojo makes stuff very fat and thick in the in the low end. Anyway, I. I I could go on about Air Windows for days, but I'm purposefully holding myself back. So just tr download this and try it out. Yeah, I hope you get something out of this. And definitely leave a comment if you have questions or <laughs> comments, concerns. Uh, if you want to hate on me, hope this is useful or interesting at least. And I hope you like it. So yeah, uh, see you next time.